I'm going to do a um, do my March favorites, and I'm actually going to do something a little bit different. I have had a lot of requests actually to do a um, um, products I regret buying tag. But the thing about me is I do tons and tons and tons and tons of research on stuff before I buy it. So I don't really regret a lot of the things that I buy um, because for the most part I don't really impulse buy. And even if I do impulse buy before I use it, unless it's like something just really cheap, um, before I use it I'll like look up reviews and stuff like that. Um, so I don't really have a lot of things I regret. However, um, Lisa SC09 here on YouTube does like when she does her favorites videos she incorporates her like stuff she regret stuff she regrets and I kind of thought that was a cool idea so I'm kind of going to do that however this time like I'm going to go ahead and incorporate just everything that I regret because it's only four four things so I'm going to go ahead and do that before I do my um, products that are my favorites for this month so, and if I look a little tired, it's because I am. It's like 1 in the morning, and I should be sleeping. I have school in the morning, but whatever. I really had to get this filmed. Um, anyways. So the first thing that I would say that I regret buying is the Liposils, the Talica, whatever. This was like the stuff that's supposed to, like, make your lashes grow. Um, this was pretty freaking expensive. I think it was like 60 bucks. 40 or 60, I really don't remember, but, um... Again, I researched the crap out of this, and I want, I bought this knowing, stuff like this never works for me, um, but I bought this knowing that it may not work for me, so, like, I can't really be mad at myself for buying it, because I knew that probably wasn't going to work anyway. Um, the next thing I regret buying is something that I did for my Project Tin Pan, and it's this stuff right here. Okay, what's funny about this is I bought this, like, three times. Like, I guess I used to like it or something, or maybe they changed the formula, but this one, the last one that I got just absolutely was terrible. Um, but it's the Rimmel Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. It says it removes waterproof makeup and it doesn't, blah, whatever. Second to last thing are MAC Pigments. These are just the three that I picked. I have several more. Um... These are cool, yeah, like, they're really pretty. This is Mutiny, which is, actually, I just got recently, and I don't even know why I did it. Um, like, I really, really like these. They're really, you get a ton of product, but the thing about them is, A, okay, these two right here, I've never even opened these. I've never even used them. I've had them for over a year. Um, I just don't like them. I'm not a big fan of them. I thought that I would like them a lot um, when I first started getting it in makeup. But I don't, I rarely use them and I just, I really don't like them. So I regret buying them because these are pretty freaking expensive and, you know, whatever. Um, and then the last thing is something that I actually bought on an impulse buy at Ulta the other day. My bangs are driving me insane, by the way. Um, but this is something I actually bought at Ulta the other day. But it is the Bliss brand lid and lash wash. But it's like the gel. It's like, it said the world's best oil free makeup remover ha ha yeah right this stuff sucks it's a gel as you can see like it's gel consistency it's not really liquid um but it doesn't it's kind of like this it doesn't really remove anything it just kind of sucks basically i don't know i do not i did not like this at all the reason i got this is because like this this brand at ulta is pretty expensive but at the front they have like you know the little samples of stuff you can buy and I had this one for four dollars, and I mean, think about it. Honestly, four dollars for that. I mean, like I can get my big makeup remover. I mean, I think this thing was like three or four dollars. I mean, seriously, look at the difference in size, and it's not even yuck. Whatever, D don't buy this, please, please. <laughs> I'll give you the four dollars. I mean, really. Okay. Um, now on to stuff that I'm loving this month. I really don't have a lot of things because, as you all know, that I'm doing Project Tin Pan. I'm nearly done. I hit pan on my um, Studio Fix powder, which I'm stoked about. But, so, you know, I haven't really been really buying a lot of stuff. The first one is my MAC 227 brush. And this thing, okay, it's pretty big. Um, but it is the softest brush and like it's perfect for just placing color like right on your brow You can actually even take it and like highlight a little bit But my favorite thing to use it for is like an all-over lid color like if I'm in a hurry I'll just take like Stila's kitten um, This brush and just sweep it all over the lid and go out the door and I freaking love it It's so so soft one of my absolute favorite brushes from Mac um, The next thing is another brush 
I actually have three brushes. Weird. Um, the next thing is another MAC brush, and this is the 266. This is nothing new. Um, the only thing that, the reason that I like this so much, okay, I use this for my brows. I want you guys to see how thin this is. Can you see how thin that is? I don't know if that's showing up. Okay, this is like uber thin. Okay, now this is the brush that I had been using for my brows. Okay, so it's like, um, I just get so much more precision. I never realized, like, um, how easy it is to fill in my brows. And I even have, like, the Special Edition 266, and they're completely different brushes. Like, I mean, this one's just so, I don't know. These are the supposed to be the same brush right here, and they're not at all. I mean, as you can see, there's not the two, they're not the same brushes. So, um, I actually got this at a CCO at for thirteen or fourteen dollars, which is expensive, but I mean it's cheaper than you can get it at the store. So if you can get these at a CCO, they are great. I love this brush. And then the last one is a Coastal Scents brush. This is the C three oh nine Jumbo Chisel Powder Brush. Um, this is the uh, supposed dupe for the Mac one thirty four, I believe. But this is absolutely perfect for just sweeping on blush, like a light application of blush. Or you can do bronzer. I don't really wear bronzer because I have tan skin naturally, so bronzer tends to make me look orange. I don't really like the way that looks. But to sweep this on, um, super swell. I love it. Um, and it's soft, so, so soft. Great brush. Love that one. Alright, and the next one is actually a palette, and this is my very, very first MAC palette, and it's the blush palette. I actually purchased this from my dear Vanessa from um, Glamour Doll Eyes, and she, I guess, just wanted to get rid of it, whatever, so I told her that I'd buy it from her, so, you know, I bought it from her, and it comes with, um, came with six blushes. This one is in Dolly Mix which is a gorgeous, like, uh, medium pink with shimmer to it. Love that one. Um, that one's probably my favorite. And then my second favorite is this one right here, which is Pink Swoon, which is just a baby pink. Um, everybody talked about this on YouTube. And then this one is in Fleur Power. I'm not crazy. It's not like, uh, it's not that I can't say flower, y'all. This is, it, if you can read that. See, Fleur. Fleur purr. Okay. So that one's that one. It's kind of like a peachy pink. And then there is a um, almost a mauve pink. And this is Pinch of Peach. This one is in Sincere. Just looks like that. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it. And then the last one is Buff. Like in the buff. You naked girl. Oh, God, I'm retarded. I'm delusional. I'm exhausted. Sorry. Um, the next thing is my 360 go clean this was actually recommended to me by one of my subscribers because I said on I was talking on Twitter about um, wanting a new face wash and some good things to try and I freaking love this they have okay I have a problem with this though I have never in my entire life had dry skin like um, sometimes I'll get dry skin in the summer because I get so dark so quick. I mean, I'm like blacker than the Ace of Spades in the summertime, um, and I get that way like super quick. So it's like, you know, my skin dries out really quickly, but never in my life has my skin ever been this dry as it's stuff with this. This is definitely for oily skin. It doesn't say, that's the only thing, it doesn't say it's for oily skin. It just like, there's four different ones of these. There's two that are more cream based. Um, there's one for sensitive skin, like the other ones say what they're on it, but this doesn't say it's for anything. So I got this one, and I absolutely love it. I really, really do. It works fantastic. If you have oily skin, I really, really recommend this. And this is your little scrubby thing. Um, you just pop this out, pour a little bit on, and then wet your face and put it on. I really do love it. I absolutely love it. I just feel like it has dried out my face uncontrollably. Like, and I can put on lotion, and two seconds later it's automatically dry again. I, it just looks really bad. So I think it's got to be this, but I don't want to stop using it because I do love it. The next thing is actually something, uh, another blush. I don't know what's going on. I've been in a blush craze, but this is something that my boyfriend actually picked out for me. It's the um, blush in full fuchsia. Like, just creates the perfect flush. It's, it reminds me of my Just a Pinch gel blush by MAC that I love so much, and I absolutely adore this. And the very last thing that is my favorite for this month 
is the Smolder Eye Call. Um, what I had been using was my, which is so tiny because I'm done with it. This was something in my Project Tim Pan, but I'm done with now. And you can't even read the name, but it was, it's the Prestige Total Intensity Liner. And this was like my holy grail liner. I absolutely loved it. This is the smoothest applicating um, eye pencil. It's just, it glides on like butter. Butter, y'all. Butter. Um, and it's just gorgeous. I just love it so much. Nothing ever stays on my waterline, so I can't say that it stays, but it stays longer than most stuff does. It's so weird because I never touch my eye unless I'm wearing eyeliner. I don't know if that happens to any of you guys, but it does to me. So it's like, um, I can't, you know, I, I rub it off. However, if you like leave your eyes alone and stuff, it really does stay. And I don't know, it's just, I love it. I absolutely love it. So yeah, that's all my favorites, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.